<laughs> Yo! What music is good? What's some, what's some good shit? What do the people want to hear? What's Justin happening? Bieber? Dude, I don't play no Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. How about the never Justin Bieber? <laughs> what's happening, everybody? How y'all doing? Dude, what's happening? I don't know. I apologize for... Uh, we lost Dave, man. You never know, dude. You just don't know what happened to him. I mean, a bad connection, dude. It's just, there's, no, there's no answers, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. I apologize for Dave not being here. What's happening? Space City Drones. What's happening? Appreciate the share. Love y'all. I need more drones, though. I, br I mean, first run. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you, dude. The very first run with the drone that I had, I freaking, dude, catapulted it into the wall, dude. But that thing was awesome. The 12 seconds, no, I'm 12's exaggerating. The three seconds I had it in the air, dude, that thing was freaking sweet. What's up, man? How y'all doing? What's happening, everybody? <laughs> it does happen, man. It does happen. It's all right, dude. That's what happens in life. What's happening, man? What, what are you guys up to this week? What's going on? I want to talk to you about prospecting because, well, that's what I came up with 30 <laughs> seconds before I turned on the scope. So I want to know how you guys prospect. Real men wear purple. This is maroon, dog. I got a lot of purple though. I love purple. It's definitely purple. Brings out the brings out the the color in the eyes. You know what I'm saying, dude? I prospect like a boss. My man Jason says it. Love it. Yeah, no. I just want to know how you guys prospect because you know in the position that I'm in, I help a lot of people with their prospecting, and I'm gonna tell you, you people freak me out in how you prospect. I mean. This is what Grant talks about. He's like, dude, people don't understand what prospecting is. He's 100% right. They don't get it. Please, you guys need to go back. Just go back and read it if you're not first or last because it's going to kind of open you up. It's not, there's, we've got some freaking sick programs on prospecting in our Cardone University, which if you haven't seen the deals Grant's dropping on that right now, I mean, I'm going to tell you, I've been working for Grant for a long time and I've never seen anything like this before. The dude's going crazy. So if you're paying attention, if you want to get better, yeah, dude, he was dropping 90% off. It's freaking sick. And so, the prospecting, you gotta know how to prospect because I'm telling you, you're, you're lost. You're lost and you're not gonna get the deal. And then what happens is, dude, there, there is an inflow. I mean, there's everybody's got leads right now. There is no shortage of leads. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that up front, dude. I have no shortage of leads. Every company I talk to, I'm like, what's your biggest problem, dude? What's the leads like? Oh, dude, we got too many leads right now, okay? That's not a problem. However, you need to get better at selling and better at prospecting so that you don't have to burn through all these leads until you can get a freaking lay down, man. That's why, uh, you know, that's why for guys getting a girl so hard, you know? This is how, this, let me, let me put this in. I was just explaining this to somebody that I know, very close to me, was telling me about their process and what's happening in their business and, and they shared what was happening and let me explain it to you in bar terms. You walk in the door, you poke your freaking head in, you point at the chick at the end of the bar, you're like, hey, let's freaking roll, dog. Let's freaking get in the car. No sailing, no selling, no even telling them what the name is. No even saying, dude, this is what I do. Dude, this chick could be a freaking, she couldn't even be in you, dude. She might be with some other deal, something else. You don't even know because, so that guy's willing to burn that deal because there's three other girls at the bar. Dude, you're gonna lose deals like that all day long. So you can't think like that, okay? You guys gotta prospect, you gotta do a little bit better job. People don't know how to sell, so they either do one thing, they either burn through all their leads, or what they do is the relationship close. I see everybody doing that. They're like, dude, I'm just gonna love on this guy until he just does business with me forever. Does that happen? Do you guys know people like that? Or am I the only one who's seeing things like that? I don't know, man, this is just stuff I've been seeing. That's happening? Dude, what, what's happening? What are you seeing? What, what are you seeing that's actually the, what I've been talking about? I'm talking about prospecting, man. People don't know how to sell on the prospect, and that's why their scripts are so bad. If you haven't seen millions on the phone, dude, you guys gotta watch that. I don't, I mean, it's the only thing that I know that would be the best way besides Cardone University, which would actually teach you the skills you need to really get your game on. Time is fierce, best friend. Take action. Dude, love that. You gotta take action, man. What do you sell? Well, my company sells training, success, we sell motivation, do we sell the whole freaking deal on how to get what you want in life? 
Lean on the pin, dude, I love that, man. That's one of the old school Grant Cardone, dude. If you guys can still pull that off, if you can get your balls big enough, and tell somebody to lean on the pin, dude, you, you might be the real deal. You can call me, because I'd love to chat. You might be, you might be, me and you might speak the same language. T-Town, represent, I don't know where that's at, but it sounds cool. I want to learn how to speak like you. Uh, dude, I'm gonna be honest, man. Everything that I learned is inside everything of Grant Cardone. I mean, that's why I'm here, that's what I'm doing. Not just promoting them, I'm telling you the truth. Five years ago, dude, I was just a bad sales guy, you know? I was the relationship guy, dude, and I just, you know, dude, I probably got deals because I look cool. I'm a good looking guy, I dress nice, I was friendly, bye, bye, dude. I made maybe 45 grand a year. Dude, get your freaking game on, making no jack. So what I started doing was reading books, listening to audios, training, drilling, rehearsing, I got my commitment level up. Okay, so how do I prospect? Well, here's what I do because I've learned skills that can allow me to do business with who I want to. I don't have to, I actually took myself out of the lead rotation in my office. We get a f inflow of leads and if you put your name in there, it won't come to me because I'm not on that deal. Okay, I completely took myself off because I want to control who I work with and I want to control what deals I do and I don't, you know, I'm capable of doing that. I can go into any marketplace, any business, I can pick any industry and that's what I've done. So I've picked, I've picked an industry that I, per, I personally like, okay, I like the people there, I love the attitudes, I love the fire that they have, I see a need for uh, some change and so I'm like doing freaking light bulb right there. So how I prospect is I identified all the top 100 players in that industry, okay? I figured out who they were, then I started figuring out, okay, who's the top guy there? Who's the CEO, okay? Who's the next person in charge? Who's the VP of sales, right? And so what I do is I make an entire list, I'll work the list because I know how to do it, I've got my pitch on, I know exactly what's gonna happen because the entire process is predictable. And if you can predict it, then you can just, control the whole thing. I talk to people every single day, man. They have no idea that I'm giving them a call. When I get them on the call, I know that they need what I have. Okay, but if I call them up and freaking fire hydrant them and mow them over like a fucking lawnmower, dude, I'm not gonna get that deal ever. I'm gonna have to burn through a lot of people. I had a guy call me up the other day. I had a guy call me up and he said, hey, look, man, I don't even know what you're selling, but dude, I freaking love how you sound. You sound freaking awesome on the phones. I like what you said. I want you to come in for an interview, okay? Me, knowing exactly what's happening with the guy, dude, I know I'm freaking good. I knew I was good before I called you dog. Everybody I'm calling should hire me. They should wanna hire me. I get job offers all the time. But, so I know what I'm doing. This guy says, look man, I wanna hire you. I said, oh, okay, cool. So what's the, the highest paid person in your organization making? He's like, well, seven figures, and I'm like, well, why don't all your people make seven figures, man? That's why I'm giving you a freaking call right now. So that everybody in your team can get the game on, dude. He was freaking like, well, but, and I was like, yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, how do you even live with yourself having a one guy in your whole team making seven figures and everybody else, you know? Dude, your, your recruiting was that somebody who called you sounded freaking awesome and you've called up and fire hydrant a job to him. I'll never take that job, dog, ever. What questions do you guys have? I've just been kind of going off, man. I, I, uh, I don't apologize, but uh, you know, just being real with everybody. How many do you have in your, your core pipeline? Dude, I've got a freaking lot, I'll tell you. There is one rule that I know to be the truest thing, and I say this all the time. The one thing that I know for sure, for sure, is that the 10X rule is the most truest thing that I know. It takes 10 deals to get one, it takes 10 people to say, hey, look, man, we're ready to roll. It's a done deal. We're with you. Send over the agreement. We're interested. And then I'm sitting there by the freaking fax machine like, dude, I'm going to get a deal, bro. And then I'm sitting by that fax machine for three months because those, those deals aren't coming over, dude. I need 10 deals that actually, I need 10 deals working for every one that's going to happen. Okay? So if you look at my desk, I've got a huge deal sheet of just people that have said, dude, we're done. Done. Hey Steve, never say you're sorry, man. You're speaking the truth, dude. I am. That's what I'm bringing tonight for y'all. Thoughts on selling marketing service to car dealerships? 
Well, most car dealerships spend about thirty-five to a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars a month in advertising. There's no shortage of of actual marketing funds for that, dude. I would pound it. And I'd get so freaking good at it that you'd be the top guy in the whole industry. There's 23,000 automotive dealerships just in the United States alone. Dude, there's a huge opportunity. I get my game on right there. So, so many people say that and don't follow through. With what? With what? You're probably right. Hello, Miami. Yeah, that's where we're at. Your eyebrows are on fleek. Yeah, I want to apologize right now. My my whole my haircut, dude. I'm like a week behind on this deal. I'm all greased up. Eyebrows are slacking. I apologize. Talk on finding the right person. And if they say, oh, send that back in because I'd love to answer that question for you. I would love to answer that question. Send that right back in, please. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait till we can get that so you guys can bang out some hearts. Your audience is loving your Periscope. Well, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate everybody. Send that back in. I want to answer that. You said something about finding the right person. This is what. This is why people are are clueless. This is why they buy bad leads. This is why they don't know. Okay, I want to. I want to answer that full question, but I want it, dude. Send that back in. Okay, because I think he was talking about, dude. How do you actually find the right person? Okay. Well, if you don't, if you didn't take any, you know, business one hundred and one courses. You know, I would basically get on Google and figure out, hey, what positions, you know, are the highest ranking in any organization? Okay, for me, I'm calling larger companies. You get the right list. Yeah, but everybody buys lists and they're bad lists because they never did the research in the first place, dude. That's one of the reasons why my prospecting is freaking sick because I know everything about the company I'm calling. I know all the people. When I call up, I'm talking about, I'm like, boom, boom, yeah, this guy, that guy, yeah, who do I need to get with this guy? Dude, I'm talk I'm so confident on the call. I know exactly what I'm talking about that the decision, the, the people are actually like, oh, dude, this guy must know John, the CEO. I need to get him through to him. Okay, I'll talk to you. I could talk to you about how to get through the gatekeeper on a different call. It's a freaking art that I have done very well at, and, and I think most people don't get it. So, anyways, I go in, I find out look, who's the top guy, who's the second guy, and who's the third person. Okay, because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna make one call and I'll probably never get to that top guy, and then I'm gonna call back and I'm gonna be like, well, I need to get in touch with the second guy. And then I'm gonna go back in and figure out, dude, who's the third guy, if I can get to him, if I can sell that guy on the opportunity of saying, hey, look, man, have you seen enough to take this to your executive board? If I can sell that guy, if I can solve some problems for him, because all three of those people all have different problems. They all have different deals. Okay, it's a different conversation for every single one of them. That's why you gotta know your deal. That's why you gotta know your pitch. You gotta know what's happening, man. If you guys are just burning through leads, if you're just looking for a lay down deal, Dude, that's where that's why you end up broke, man. That's why you end up with like ups and downs in your paychecks, man. Maybe one month you're like, shit, I made eight, 10, 30, 40, 50 grand this month, and then you're freaking all jacked up, and then the next month you make six grand. You're like, well, you know, what happened? What happened? Okay, because everybody's gonna get lucky, everybody's gonna, you know, get to that point. Look, do you wanna sustain that? Do you wanna be able to maintain that success and keep going? Dude, you've gotta be able to Know what you're doing, get skilled up, drilled. And if you haven't been to grantcardone.com right now, I'm telling you right now, I've never seen anything like it. It's freaking sick. At grantcardone.com, 90% off. Everything that I'm telling you tonight is everything that I learned. I read all the books, I bury myself in all the webinars, I train, I mean, I'm all over the university. Nobody trains more than I do. There might be maybe one guy who might come close to me. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna get one more question in here. You have to get the right data from the right source, combine that with the right skills, 10X, bam, love it. How do you tow the line between relationship and pushing the close? Dude, my product's so freaking sick, it would be unethical for me to not push you. I wouldn't even be a friend if I didn't push you to do the deal. Okay, because you're in a bad deal right now, you're not in the right deal, and I'm trying to get you in the right deal. It would be wrong of me to not push you, okay? Your friend, he smokes crack, okay? He smokes crack. You pushing him to do the right thing, you know, you gonna draw the line at friendship, like, uh, I don't wanna push him. I know it's the right thing, but uh, I don't wanna push him. Dude, come on now, dude, you, you're, you're gonna push him to do the right thing. Yeah, 
Do you avoid trying to become a friend of your clients? Nah, dude, I love my freaking clients. My clients are awesome. Yeah, don't smoke crack. Right on, right on, right on, yeah, love it. At minimum, seven follow-up attempts to get the deal done. Yeah, if you wanna maybe do barely any deals. Um, I just did a deal today, or I'm sorry, what's today? I did a deal yesterday for a guy that I've been following up with for 12 months. 12 months, guess how many times I called that guy? <laughs> I couldn't even tell you, dude. I couldn't even freaking tell you, because at one point I was calling him every day for probably 60 to 90 days. Okay, I was up his ass big time. Okay, dude, that's where your commitment level's gotta be. This guy's so freaking pumped to work with me now, he's like, dude, we're ready. We're ready. Steve, what's your email? I'm at a dealership in Indy. It's Steve at GrantCardone.com, dude. I was just in Indy at dealerships, dude. Hooked up with a group, Bradley Chevrolet, dude. Those guys are freaking awesome down there. Love those guys, man. Dude, let me tell you what I'm looking to do in my life. I'm only looking to get around hustlers. I'm only looking to get around people who are like, look, I don't care what's happening in the world right now. I wanna be better. I wanna be better. I want my life to be better. I want relationships to be better. I want my money to be better. My finances to be better. That's who I'm looking for, dude. And, and when I go to places where I see people who are on that same path, they're like, dude, I'm so thankful you came in. Dude, I've been thinking this shit. I'm like, dude, this is what happened to me, and so I appreciate even you allowing me to do this for you. So, all right, guys, you have a great night. I think Rob's gonna jump on here, so you guys go get some go get some video love from Rob. You guys give him some hearts. I appreciate all your hearts. I appreciate all your love. You guys have a great night. Thanks.